Hello everyone, we are here to deploy a virtual interface on our wireless LAN controller. But why are we doing it? Well, what it comes down to is every single wireless local area network that we deploy using our wireless LAN controller, those wireless local area networks need their own virtual interface. A virtual interface would be an interface VLAN. But first, let's take a quick peek at the physical view of our wireless LAN controller. We have five ports for data traffic, the blue one followed by the four yellow. Each of these physical ports can be configured to support multiple wireless local area networks. It would be done by us taking our virtual interfaces that we deploy, and we'd map that virtual interface to be used by physical ports. And these physical ports can even be bundled or aggregated to create larger high bandwidth links. So let's take a look at our topology again, and then we'll get started in the config. So in our topology, what you'll see is we're going to have VLAN 5. And VLAN 5 is going to be a data VLAN, which is going to be mapped to a wireless local area network that's in use on our wireless LAN controller. Then that VLAN 5 network will be able to be routed by our router, R1, which is going to have IP address 192.168.5.1 on it. As users join the wireless network that's associated with interface VLAN 5, those users will be placed on the VLAN 5 network. So let's get started in deploying this. So it's time for us to configure our wireless LAN controller with the new interface VLAN so we can have a VLAN 5 network up and running. So to get started, I'm going to go into my advanced button here. And inside of advanced, we're going to go over to controller. And when I get into controller, we're going to go to the interfaces section. So when I click on interfaces, we'll get a list of all of the interfaces running inside of my wireless LAN controller. Right now, we're configuring the controller on the management interface at 200.254. I want to create a new virtual interface for VLAN 5 so I can have user data move through a VLAN 5 network with a new wireless local area network. So to get started, I'll scroll over to the right. I'm going to click on new for a new interface. It asks me for an interface name. I'm going to keep this simple. I'm going to call it VLAN 5 underscore user data. And it asks me for the VLAN ID number, which will be 5. When I click apply, we're not done. We get a lot of options that'll pop up. So now I need to fill in some information. One of the first things I need to set is the port number. For the port number, this is gonna be the physical port on my wireless LAN controller. We're using port one out of our five ports. Also, it wants an IP address, and this is gonna be the IP address of the wireless LAN controller on this network. If we go back to our topology, we'll see that we should have the 5.254 IP address on the wireless LAN controller. And the router will be using 192.168.5.1. So on the wireless LAN controller, I will put in the IP address of 192.168.5.254. That net mask or subnet mask is a slash 24, which is a class C. The gateway is going to be the router's IP address, which is the exit point for the VLAN 5 network. So I'll put in 5.1 for the router. I don't have IPv6 addressing info, but as clients do come in on the wireless network and join onto network 5, uh, this network should have a DHCP server, and that'll be router R1. It's going to provide DHCP services for the local network. Now, a wireless LAN controller can be a DHCP server, but there's only a specific reason for that, and that's usually to give IP addresses to the access points themselves, and only the access points. That's for management purposes. So there's nothing else for me to configure on this screen. We are good to go to hit apply, and I'll do that in the top right corner. Get a little pop-up for a warning. We'll click OK. And our VLAN 5 user data interface is now deployed on our wireless LAN controller. And this is that virtual interface. So I'm not completely done yet, because the virtual interface exists, but now I need to map it to a wireless local area network. So I'm going to go into my wireless LANs, and inside of here I'll find my user data Wi-Fi. I'll click on that wireless, which is the number two ID. And inside of here, there's a dropdown for interface and interface group. Right now, this is putting users on the management network. But if I click that dropdown, now I can select that new interface VLAN 5 and have it mapped to the user data Wi-Fi. As my users join the user data Wi-Fi wireless network, they'll be put on the VLAN 5 network. And apply makes it happen.